Hi, this is Cecilia from Tarot by Cecilia, and today is Thursday, January 19th, 2023. The tarot card for today is the High Priestess, and this one comes to us from a recently released deck by artist James R. Eads, which is called the Green Glyphs Tarot. He's very well known for his Prisma Visions deck, which is really unique and interesting. Uh, you can find him on Instagram under james.r.eads.art or at Prisma Visions. Now, well, yesterday was certainly an interesting day, wasn't it? We had Mercury going direct, and I believe also our conjunction between the Sun and Pluto, which is a very big deal. And the next time that comes around, we're going to have a lot to talk about, so stay tuned. That's in about another year. Today, we begin with a Sagittarius moon, and mid-afternoon, it will move into Capricorn. Now, the Sagittarius moon is going to square Neptune and sextile Saturn, and the Capricorn moon is going to square Jupiter. Most everything feels a little bit off there, doesn't it? And, you know, I gotta tell you, especially everybody, my day starts with people sending me the messages, happy Mercury direct day. Well, like I said before, it's kind of like run. I mean, walk, don't run to the nearest exit, right? Yeah, take your time with this one. And we always talk about the high priestess, like she's the all-seeing, the all-knowing. But really, right now, can you see? Can you tell? I mean, the confusion of Mercury retrograde is still there. You will slowly begin to work out those kinks over the next couple of weeks. But I honestly, the position that we're in right now, we've got one more planet to go, and that's Uranus on the 22nd. So we've got three more days. This is a very eventful week. You notice things going on around you and in the news, all of the, you know, catastrophic weather that we're having. The, you know, Uranus is very heavily involved in a great deal of that. It's not totally a blame, but it is involved. But what I'm feeling with this card today is the shoulda, coulda, wouldas. You know, like the hindsight is twenty twenty. I wish I had done this. I wish I had done that. I, I knew that, and I didn't do that. That kind of thing. You know, like those, those V8 moments where you're smacking yourself in the head. And I just don't want anyone to get too, you know, overly you know, like blaming yourself for anything, because what we've just come through, and we're not out of it yet, is some really intense energy that's been going on for how many months now, and it's been very difficult for most of you. Everywhere I look, it, it's been that way, but you are being spurred on by that Sun-Pluto conjunction, which is in the sign of Capricorn, wanting you to, you know, know more, to dig deeper, you know, make those changes and to transform. I think the time is coming. It really is coming very soon. It's like there's an awareness of what needs to be done, but perhaps not being able to make it materialize, to get it to gel. You know, even even working on a plan just doesn't seem to be ready quite yet. Now, you might want to have a listen all right, I put out everywhere this month so everybody can hear what's going on. My February Love and Finance, which is actually part of my subscription packages, is available now. You can find it for free on YouTube. You can find it for free on Podbean, which is my podcast app, or through any of your favorite podcast providers. So there's a great deal of information there. It's over a half an hour long and it discusses February and beyond, and it will really, I think, help you immensely, because where you're at right now, that unknown like we have with, you know, the high priest is wanting to see beyond the veil, hmm, but can we? I think the February reading will really help you sort through some of that to help get you to where you need to be. I want to thank you all very much for being here. I'll see you here again tomorrow. And as always, have a great day.